Hello folks again, uh, it is day five of the um, seven day mindset mindset challenge. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the first four days just going through some of the very basic business mindset tools that I use. Um, I tend not to deal with the life coachy sort of mindset tools necessarily. Um, I tend to focus more on the business mindset, the sorts of things which hold us back from making more money, creating more time and those sorts of things. The things that we're afraid of in business, the things that we fear in business, hence fear less. Um, so well done for getting this far because I know that um, doing the seven day challenges is quite a big commitment. So thank you for persevering. We're on day five. We're on the home stretch now. This this uh, today's model is a very, very simple mindset tool, um, uh, which is perhaps one of my favorite. So what I want you to do first and foremost is imagine your perfect client for a second. How much money would they spend with you on an annual basis? And then multiply that number by 10. So now what we've got is 10 of your perfect clients. In actual fact, I've got a minibus parked outside your house or your office right now with those 10 perfect clients sat on it. Each one of them has got a little black satchel full of cash. And all you've got to do is pay me some money to go outside into that minibus and bring those 10 perfect clients into your office empty their black satchels out onto the desk. So you've got to give me some of that money. So how much would you give me? And if it's like a fiver, then that's not good enough. Most people at this point come up with a figure. So let's say, for example, there were, um, the average client was worth a thousand pounds. I've got 10 of those clients, so they're worth 10,000 pounds over the next 12 months that they would potentially give me somewhere between 10 and 20%. So a thousand and two thousand pounds to go out there, grab those clients, bring them in, enter their such as that, and you're just gonna hand, hand over uh, a wad of cash to me. Say, thank you very much, thank you for finding those clients, and off we go. My point is, and this is where it becomes a mindset sort of shift, is that the only reason why you'd be willing to give me that cash, and there are a couple of people who do get quite skeptical because they're like, oh, it's too good to be true. Well, it probably is. But the reason why people would be willing to give me that cash is because I have guaranteed them the clients. They're sat in my minibus, I'm going to bring them in here and then away we go. The difference is when we get to that, that third core pillar of our, our business, the marketing side of things, that, and I said this in yesterday's, um, uh, during, during yesterday's uh, day four of the seven day challenge, um, that business is very unpredictable within reason. Uh, and it's not necessarily the business that's unpredictable, it's actually people that are unpredictable. So if you know your numbers, you should be able to, and you've started to work out how where you've got to market, so uh, you know where does your ideal client hang out, um, and um, the fact, you know, make it easy for yourself, so you've got to go to them, um, and you're showing up there regularly and often, that you can start to manipulate and create 70-10-2. And there may well be two or three places where you market currently that are far, far beyond outstripping the performance of any other types of marketing activities which you're currently doing. Very typically, it's Pareto principle. And we, we don't spend any time really analysing the really successful forms of marketing that we do. So for me, it's speaking at events. Provided I speak at events, it raises my profile, loads of people tweet about it. Um, it or if I organise events then um, I'm getting the coverage um, that I need to get in order to make my funnel work. Um, there may be other ways that work for other people, email marketing, text, SMS marketing, marketing uh, Facebook marketing, Instagram, like YouTube, there could be any number of different ways like Google ads. But what, what we try and do is we're always looking for more and more and more and more. But what we've got to do is look for satisfactory in this instance. We're not going for some like crazy outlandish goal where we're growing this like seven figure business, like million pound business, unless you already are a million pound business and you want to grow or you're close to it. What we're trying to do is create consistency within our business. Um, and the only way to do that is to um, grow gradually. And the only way to grow gradually is to know our numbers inside and out. So we want to know where we want to get to. We've got to know where we are now. And that then creates that journey that happens in between it. Um, so my final question is, if you would be willing to spend 10 to 20% of your potential revenue on what is effectively marketing, that's me guaranteeing those leads to you, and, 
And there are people out there who get, do guaranteed services in terms of like Facebook ads, Google ads, and those sorts of things, where they just guarantee those leads. Why wouldn't you spend 10, 10 to twenty percent of your revenue on marketing? So you've probably got all of these other costs that you're spending out. Um, obviously, the money which you spend on me is is the best money that you'll ever spend. But um, from a marketing perspective, you need to be willing to risk a little bit in order to get those leads in. We cannot just expect leads to fall into our laps or just do a bit of marketing and hope. We have to invest some time and money into marketing. Otherwise, um, we're not going to get any clients. We're not going to pull people into our funnel. There's no way of, we can deliver value for free, but there's only so many places that you can deliver value for free. It's why I've got a whole raft of different assets which I, I give out consultations, books, events, all sorts of things like that. Um, and, and videos and podcast interviews and just, I do a ton of like free stuff basically because it appeals to lots of different audiences. But I build assets that kind of work for themselves. Um, but the one real activity that I know gets me clients or get books consultations, so remember marketing sales delivery, is the speaking gigs. That works for me. Now that may not work for you. In order to get to a point where I knew that speaking gigs worked for me, there was a shit ton of trial and error which went into that process. I have tried so many different ways of marketing over my 14 years in business. From advertorials in magazines to, um, uh, to even radio advertising we tried at one point. Um, to uh, I've tried Facebook advertising, Google advertising. We've tried um, ad placements. We've there's just so many different things that we've tried over the years and like marketing is just trial and error and you have to get over that like you're not going to get a return on investment on every penny that you spend it's just that simple so um but you have to be prepared to spend something so that's the that's the mindset shift is that we'll buy something if it's guaranteed but we're not, we've got to be open to risk when it comes to marketing, trial and error, and to spend a bit, speculate to accumulate. That's why that term exists. Um, so I had a couple of um, very simple questions which I've got lined up for you in the worksheet. So go and download the worksheet. Make sure you feedback the answers into the, um, the Facebook group, the Facebook Live um, uh, comments um, uh, feed. And uh, I will catch up with you on the penultimate day, day six of the seven day mindset challenge. And um, I hope that you're already starting to, to see some shifts in your way of thinking around your business. In fact, I'm inviting you to try and allow a shift to happen um, and that you can start to see ways. Because once you get through these these kind of fears, these things that are holding you back, like all of a sudden, like the world just opens up. It's like it's almost like everybody's been out there waiting to buy your products. Everybody is out there waiting to buy your products. But it's your own fears that have stopped you from putting yourself out there or risking a little bit in order to be available when people want to, to buy. It's, it's the difference between scarcity and abundance. Um, if you're not speculating, you're living in a, in a place of scarcity and nobody is going to find you. You're not going to attract people when you're in a place of scarcity. You've got to be abundant. You've got to be willing to speculate. You've got to be willing to put yourself out there and take a little bit of a risk. Anyway, I've just... Um, rambled on a little bit more there than I should have done. But um, download the worksheet. Uh, I shall see you tomorrow, day six of the Mindset Challenge, penultimate day. One more day to go after that. Uh, and um, then we'll catch up later on. Cheerio.